Here we are, the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're back for the third and final part of our discussion here at the end of March, March 31st, uh, with David Thrussell, an undisclosed location. Undisclosed. Good to see David. Undisclosed. Yes. Here we are in with front of the Grand doubles. Chess board. I mean, your double's quite a striking likeness, I it have is. to say. It's our very double -ganger. impressive. Our yes, double yeah. yes. I mean, we wouldn't, we wouldn't appear in public with our real personages. That would be dangerous. We've, cl we've been cloned a long yes, time ago. Yes. We're, we're now doubles. part of the, uh, yeah. you know, part of the, yeah. what's it called, controlled I mean, opposition? I saw the real you in Barbados last week. I think you did. Or the real me saw the real you. All right, yes. well, that's it. Come back in a minute and join us for the Report for Tiger Mountain, part three. All right, here we are, back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, for the final part of our discussion, we've been talking about the forever pandemic, colonialism 2.0, which is the kind of new globalist strategy, which seems to be a worldwide phenomena. And in part three, we're going to talk about what David wants to well, talk we're, about. Well, we're at this pivotal moment. I mean, yes. we're actually, uh, we're, you know, it feels like we're alive in an extraordinary moment where we are, as a, as a, you know, as a human society, we're standing on the precipice, on the cliff top. Yep. Which way is it going to go? You know, I mean, I, I do feel, and I hope to be wrong. I, I, would, I would be so glad to be wrong, but it seems inescapable to me that we are at this pivotal moment where the forces of global evil, who are small, there's, there's not many of them, you mm -hmm. know, but they control the media and the political class and academia and blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. So they're very powerful if we allow them to be. We're at this pivotal moment where they're really tightening the leash, you know, and if we mm -hmm. let them get away with this, this is this is slavery. This is slavery 3.0. Yeah, exactly. Know? But um, I mean, how, how the hell do we how the hell do we stop them? You know, but in the sense that, like, you know, these things are playing out. Um, you know, obviously there are, there is a kind of dissident community. Um, that's at least ten or twenty percent of people online uh, who are. Well, very I can give you I can give you some some small but practical suggestions. Mm -hmm. Turn off the mainstream media. Just turn it off. Yep. Turn your back on it. Do not give it any regard. It is just wall-to-wall -wall lies. Yes. Okay. Now here's another one. These are small. But that doesn't stop it. That doesn't stop it. You know, basically it does rob brainwashing it eighty percent of people. You know. Yeah. I, look, I agree. And I mean, I, and I've read these stats. It's, it's good that you bring up the number. You know, because a while ago I was reading about hypnosis. Mm. Okay. And I think this is pretty relevant to where we are. And what I was reading about hypnosis was that, roughly speaking. 20% of the population is very easily hypnotized. Yes. Okay? 20% of the population is very difficult to hypnotize. That'd be and us. It, yeah, that's, <laughs> possibly that's us. Our clones, anyway. Yeah, you know, um, our doubles. Exactly. Our doubles, not us. Yeah, um, and 60% of the population is somewhere in between on the spectrum. You yeah. Know? So, I mean, obviously, and I think this applies to this spell yes. that we're under. You know, 20% of the population are true believers. You will not mm -hmm. reach them. Nothing. As they're marching us off to the gulag, mm -hmm. you know, they will still be going on about... Chairman Dan and what a hero yeah. he is and blah, blah, blah. You yeah. can't reach them. So no. forget about forget them. Forget about them. Forget about them. It's the 60% in, in the, the middle, middle yeah, that we need to, that you need to be talking to. Yeah. Okay, so don't talk to the your, your, your bureaucratic yeah. class, or your guardian people, your ABC people. Forget mm -hmm. them. Talk to, talk to your average Joes who is there somewhere in the middle mm. and who can think somewhat for themselves. They're not mm. in the enabling class. You know, they're not on the gravy train. Talk to them. And also, in a very small but practical way, Revolting initiatives like this, uh, you know, this um, this vaccine pass and these kind of vaccine passport and these kind mm -hmm. of revolting initiatives. The less people take the vaccine, and of course that's your choice, but yes. I would suggest the less, uh, theoretically speaking, yeah. the less people who take the vaccine, yes. the less workable a thing like that. Yeah, is. I agree. So it's you like, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. only twenty percent of the population take that thing, yep. that ceases to be workable. No, I agree with that. You know? yeah, yeah. And I do so think there is a lot of people who that. doubt who who doubt the vaccine. And uh, I mean, look, uh, I, you know. You know, even if you were to take the uh, the narrative uh, at face value that there is some kind of virus floating about and that there are people who are immunocompromised and that, you know, maybe if there is a safe vaccine, you know, like even if you, I don't know whether AstraZeneca is it, but say for the sake of example, it's not incredibly deadly, the AstraZeneca one. Okay, so the immunocompromised community takes that. But what is everybody else who's healthy? Who's even if we got COVID, you and I would probably not even get sick. We'd probably no, not even get a runny sense. nose. It doesn't make you, sense. You you push on this narrative anywhere yep. you push on it, it just yep. falls over because it's yep. so weak. Yep. I mean, actually, the whole story is incredibly scatterbrained and a very weak narrative. Yep. Yep. Come on, people, I know. just push on it, and it falls and over everywhere. Let's talk about something else too. I mean, the war on terror 
and you are an early, you're an early person who predicted this. You know, it's like the invisible enemy thing. It's like the Muslims were meant to be the enemy, yeah. and then, and then we, and yet we find out it's, it's the various intelligence agencies, it's the CIA, it's Mossad, and various groups. They're the ones who are funding ISIS and and sending them in. You know, and so basically it's all created. And there was this interesting documentary by Adam Curtis called "I Can't Get You Out of My Head." Have you seen that yet? No, I, I'm dubious about Curtis, but well, sure. Anyway, it's worth I mean, watching. I think he's a great yeah. artisan. It is definitely worth no? watching. Well, uh, can't get but he's just. Yeah, no, he, he's definitely of the new left, so he, you, know. you can't trust him. But, like, he did this new documentary where he spoke about this woman, and she was, like, a member of the um, Black Panthers. Yeah. And she, they found out that there were three or four members of the Black Panther group that she was in. They were FBI, and they were the ones preaching violence. Of course. Everyone else was like, oh, maybe we should listen, maybe we should do this. But there were four people in the group who were, no, no, we need to blow things up. And they were the FBI agents. The strategy of tension. It's, it's unbelievable. The strategy of tension. They, yeah. They've done this everywhere. They've infiltrated any group that's of any meaning on the stage mm. is infiltrated and weaponized yep. and turned into an instrument to and further it, the agenda. And the war Always. on terror, climate change is another thing where it's this invisible threat. It's something absolutely catastrophic. And you see like, what's it called? Uh, Extinction Rebellion people who are stopping traffic in the street in Melbourne all last week. I mean, people were sitting in traffic for hours. Which How green is that? I mean, this is why it's the exact opposite. Like, if you actually agree, why would you make traffic sit in hours and hours? So there's a there's you a know. bigger there's a there's a meta narrative. Yeah, narrative can you compare the three things: COVID, um, climate change, and the war on terror? They all seem to be like a similar kind oh, of. Oh come on! And acid rain, and peak oil, <laughs> yeah. and AIDS, HIV. There's yeah. always something. The Cold War, uh, Islamic terrorism, yes. uh, war on drugs. Blah yeah. blah blah. You, you could name a thousand. Did you hear of these the guy things. who invented? You've got to be afraid. You've got to always be afraid. It's it's one hundred and one. Be afraid. It's no, but it's statecraft one hundred and one. Mm. Is keep the people frightened because when they're frightened, they're obedient. So there's always got to be something that the people have to be frightened of. Come on, we've been alive now for long enough to have lived through a dozen have, of these yeah, yeah. things. And you know? they're, they're mostly I mean, bullshit. I remember acid rain was going to kill everybody. The hole in the ozone layer was yeah. going to kill everybody. It didn't hurt anybody. AIDS was going to kill everybody. I know, I know. Uh, you know, Did you hear that? This blah, is an interesting thing about AIDS. You've always got to be frightened of something. The guy who invented the PCR test, um, he, he was a, very interesting. He was he, he, he said yes. that AIDS, uh, HIV and AIDS were not connected. And he said that the thing that was causing AIDS was the actual medication itself. And this is what I thought was very interesting. And this is maybe what the vaccine is going to do. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's like there was this thing called HIV and, you know, it sometimes had bad consequences or whatever. They gave you this AZT and that was basically like chemotherapy. Yeah. And then gay people took it whose immune system was low anyway. And then suddenly they started dropping like flies. Sure. He, he, the guy's name is Kerry Mullis. That's him, yes. K A R Y Mullis. And the test, that's he's it. a Rosetta Stone, this guy, okay? What's Look that at, mean? Well, he's, he's central to the yep. whole thing, okay? And in, in a good way, you mm. know? Look into Kerry Mullis. He's Kerry a Mullis. fascinating guy. He has a lot of fascinating things to mm. say. He unfortunately left us just a couple of months before this nonsense started. But what do you know? I know. Because yeah. they were using his test, and I, I reckon yes. he would have spoken out he, and said, No way does this work for COVID. His test mm. is not a test, no. okay? It's a method. For amplifying DNA to study it for yeah. research purposes, it is, he said it has it's no um, use as a test whatsoever. Okay, it's simply for study for research. It's an aid for and research. the PCR test. And he is was domain. a loudmouth. This guy, he was an absolute loudmouth. Yep, yep. He would have kicked up a stink mm. if they had repurposed his amplification method for DNA into something else. He yes, would have kicked up an absolute stink. Yep. Yet oddly, he unfortunately left us yes, just beforehand. He did. And yes. did you see that um, in Israel... Look into him, Kerry Mullis. Kerry Mullis. fascinating. And in Israel, they, they've gone absolutely COVID vaccine crazy. They've given everybody the... I mean, if they supposedly love the Jewish people, I don't know why they've vaccinated the entire nation. They've vaccinated everybody and they've introduced... Um, What's it called? Passports? You know, where you can't go into certain buildings. Got a green passport there or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you know? yeah. Israel has gone crazy for this. Yes. Yeah. And you'd think in a country that went through Dr. Mengele, it would be a bit worried about people being forced, you know, well, medical Well, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the globalists, or whatever you want to call them, the cabal mm. or the elite, or whatever you want to call them, they hate all of us. Yeah, yeah. They hate Even all Israelis. They right. will mm. use all of us. Yeah. We're just, to them, we we're are all just, pawns. We're just pawns. We're just useless eaters. They will <laughs> use all of us, you know? And yep. I think, from what I can tell, and I don't trust really, frankly, any media. Yep. But what what I, people are sending me and blah blah blah, 
Uh, it looks incredibly draconian in Israel, right? It now. does. It's full yeah. on. It looks, it looks horrific. And there are people sending videos out. I saw a couple and they're, they're shocked. They said, this is like the Nazis. But this, this is, is happening all over the place. Yeah. And we're not really hearing much about it. This no. is happening in Ireland. This yeah. is, friends of mine in Germany are telling me yeah. that it's incredibly draconian. It's draconian. You cannot leave the house, etc., etc. I know. You know? Extraordinary. Yeah. Um, they are, it's Pavlovian. They're tightening yep. the leash to make us obedient, to break our spirit, to demoralize us. Yes. This is what's happening. Yep. When people say, and it's, I know it sounds hyperbolic, but I don't actually think it is. Mm. We're at war. We yep. are at war. We just don't know it. The yep. general public don't know it. Mm. But there's a war being waged on us by the elite, the globalists, whatever you want to call yep. them. You know, this is what's happening. And the globalists have taken another piece, ladies and gentlemen. We're in a serious war here. And, yes. um, you know, but you've always got two truth speakers. You know, we're not, we're not clones yet, but maybe one day we will be. I know. I almost had an accident on the stairs the other day. <laughs> and I nearly had a car accident on the way up here. <laughs> no, I didn't. Um, so far, look, it's always a pleasure talking to David Thrussell and getting uh, the word up here in an undisclosed location. And I want to thank you for listening. And I want to thank David Thrussell for talking to us. Any final My words pleasure. for people at the report? Um, stay strong. Stay think, strong. Think. Think for yourself. And Stay you'll strong. see us again in about a month. We're doing some work up here on a, on a film soundtrack. So uh, we'll be back in about a month and we'll talk more then soon. Thank you.